Yo guys, Simon B1471 checking in with another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay commentary for you. And today, guys, I'm not going to talk about the lag problems in the game anymore. Um, I feel I've said enough about that already and what needs to be done. But today, I'm going to be talking about the second thing which I need urge, well, which I think needs to be changed as soon as they possibly can. And that is low profile. Um, now, I don't know if you like me. I come across a lot of campers guys now I'm gonna show you at the beginning of this game um, how people are playing the game guys even though we've got all these fancy exosuit movements you know and all these exosuit perks you're basically getting guys as on this map I've got a classic example of what people are doing as what I'm doing right now you'll see on the second half of the gameplay somebody does this and they just keep on killing people again and again and again so they give us all these exosuit abilities however the perks in the game kind of help campers. Um, in Black Ops 1, with the ghost perk, you know, there's a lot of criticism on Black Ops 1 with the perk just basically keeping people over the... keeping people off the minimap. And it was pissing a lot of people off. And Treyarch, you know, probably... Well, definitely my favourite developer thought, OK, how can we nerf Ghost? Which was the um, anti-UAV show up on map perk. Um, if you wasn't playing in a Call of Duty back in the days of Black Ops 1 and what they did was basically anybody who is doing what I'm doing right now on the screen would show up on the radar but in this game at the moment as low profile works on this game as of right now of well the time of making this video low profile will work even if you're sat in a corner like I'm showing you now guys um, and really, it's something they need to sort out urgently because, like I've said, they've given us all this exosuit movement, you know, these boost jumps, you know, all these fancy abilities. But the problem remains, guys, even if you give people, you know, all these abilities, if they've put perks in the game which kind of don't directly promote camping, but they help campers. Um, somebody can sit, you know, um, as you'll see later on in this video, laid down prone on top of a building because obviously you can get up there a lot easier now because um, of the double jump etc and you'll just see people laying down with a sniper rifle you know um, and they're not afraid of anything they know if somebody gets a kill streak they've got cold blooded on so they won't show up and they also know how UAV currently works at the moment that even if you're sat in a corner for 20 minutes, you will still not show up on the minimap. So, the key thing to take away from today's video for me, and hopefully what I'm trying to put across to you guys, is that low profile needs to not work when people are stood stationary um, for more than a couple of seconds. Um, it worked well on Black Ops 1. Everybody was, you know, happy when they made the change to it. So, really, they should do it now. So, as you can see here... Where I'm shooting just a second ago, that is where I was originally. Somebody's there now trying to do the exact same as what I'm, I was doing earlier, but I was only doing that to show you. And look, there's two people laid prone next to each other on the top of that building, um, right on their flag. And for me, the game has got exosuits. The game is designed you know, to allow people to run around the map, have fun. But while you've got perks in like Cold Blooded, and especially low profile. Look, I gotta to try to kill him again and I just get killed. I don't know why I went back, but at this time, while I was playing the game, I thought, oh, this is gonna make a good video. So, you know, let's go back. Let's just try to, you know, show people out there, you know, what really happens in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, the campers are real, ladies and gentlemen. The campers are real. But all they need to do is just simply, you know, make. Um, which the coding shouldn't be too difficult. If they did it on Black Ops 1, they should be able to do it on Advanced Warfare. That all they need to do is just make low profile not work when people are stood stationary. And that should also be the case for Cold Blooded as well. If they did that, it would make sense. The game is designed, you know, for people to double jump, boost jump, left, right, and center. So why haven't they, you know, done that in the first place? But you know, they've probably made the game, you know, thinking that, okay, people are not going to be stationary because we've given them all these fancy abilities, guys. But, you know, there's always going to be campers. You know, you're never going to get rid of that. But, yeah, as, as you can see, the guys are still there, you know. He's been laid there probably now constantly for two minutes. 
you know, we're getting UAVs, we cannot see the guy on the minimap, so, you know, people are going to be running into that area, and, you know, it's like the game, how it's been designed, you know, is helping those guys out, you know, it's a ground war, there's going to be a lot of traffic, um, but, but yeah, really guys, in a nutshell, they need to just make low profile, not work, while people are stationary. Like I said, it can't be that difficult. If Black Ops 1 and Treyarch can do it, surely Sledgehammer Games and Advanced Warfare can do the same too. And also, Cold-Blooded, I've said it before, I've said it again, that perk is extremely overpowered, because really, the only viable perk to use in the perk 2 slot is Cold-Blooded. But thanks for watching, guys. Remember to smash that like button. Until next time, bye for now.